Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is testing in the last three previews of Windows 11 through the Vera channel, Dev channel and the Canary channel. I'm actually talking about build 22635.3720 for the Vera channel, 26120.770 in the Dev channel. Actually this one only includes improvements, there is nothing new on the preview to actually show off and the bill 26,231 in the Canary channel. It is important to know that these changes are technically not tied to version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into the new features and improvements for the latest preview builds of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, on File Explorer, when using the search interface, you will now find an option to copy the file to the clipboard. Now, if we go to the Settings app and then actually go to System, About, and then when we click the Rename this PC button, we are going to find that the interface to apply the new name has been updated to match the design style of Windows 11. And from this page, let's go to the accounts section because on the Your Info page, the company didn't mention this, but it's been discovered that the operating system now includes a profile image editor. And to do that, just click the update button. And from here, you can see the interface that allows you to edit the profile picture. And we have different tools that we can use. You can remove the background, you can change the portrait lighting, and you can also upscale the resolution for the image that you're using. There are also some filters that we can apply to the image. Actually, there is about like six different filters that we can use. And also there is a zoom option and a slider to rotate the image. You can always click the restore original button to restore the image that you had before without the edit. And you can also take a new picture, choose a new photo or remove the image completely. Once you're done editing your profile picture, you can click the save button and that will apply to your Windows 11 account. And if you're using a Microsoft account, this image will probably be uploaded to your online account. So you will see it across all the places where you sign in with your Microsoft account. Now for this next feature, I have to switch computers to, to the one that has the latest preview and the beta channel. And in here, one thing that I can point out is that when using search and you type a search for a file, you will now have the option to share that file. Now in the beta and canary channels, Microsoft is adding the ability to use voice access to dictate text while using the Windows Narrator and here were what is dictated. Finally, the company is also adding commands to voice access to control Windows Narrator and you can find or confirm those commands when you go to the view all commands page and then you scroll down and open the Narrator commands page. As part of the improvements for voice access, the app will now restart automatically if it crashes, which the company says it will help users with disabilities to resume to using the feature more quickly. And finally, Microsoft is also adding the entity command to use on Windows search. So you can say search entity and replacing the entity with the app or file you want to search. This will make search more efficient when using voice access. And that's it, those are the most significant changes that we're going to find in the last three preview builds of Windows 11 and the beta, dev, and canary channels. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.